Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 11 box primetime football mix. It's not 11. This is a lie. We lied to you, ladies and gentlemen. We apologize for lying to you. Look, if you count that up, it's 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 12 there. Plus there's 12 right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I got 12, 12 in front of me right here too. So there you go. So thanks to everyone who bought it at 11 boxes. If you thought that was a good deal, there's an additional box in this break. A very big thank you to all of these folks for getting into it. Now we are giving away an early bird spot. If you were one of the first 16 spots picked up right there, you got a shot at the last spot right here, a bonus early bird spot. So let's see who gets the worm. Thanks early birds. Let's roll it and randomize it seven times, six and a one, one. Two, three, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then final time. And the worm goes to Christopher Masters. There you go, Chris. After seven times, you catch the worm. There you go. Now, let's grab all the names. And let's randomize him with the teams right here. And we'll see what team you get after 12 times. Six and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why does it have to be 12? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. After 12 times, we got Kenny. Down to Matt McRae. Six and a six, 12 times for the teams. One. One. I think Ram.org went to bed. Well, the wheel's spinning on the tab, it's just, it's on my Google Chrome it's tab. It's spinning. It's thinking. Got to do 11 more of these. Let's try that again. Once again, 12 times. One. Oh, come on. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And 12th and final time. I don't got time for this. After 12 times, we got Dallas Cowboys down to the Cincinnati Bengals. All right, so Kenny with the Cowboys, Travis with the Niners, Panagiotis with the Bills, Trey with the Titans, Chris with the Chargers, Greg with the Falcons, Chris Hansen with the Saints, Rick with the Vikings, Chris Hansen with the Patriots, Chris Masters with the Giants with your early bird spot. Aaron with the Cardinals, Chris DeHart with the Bears, a lot of Chris's in this. Rick K with the Packers, Bradley with the Seahawks, Chris Berry with the Panthers, Chris Hansen with the Lions, Chris Berry with the Browns, Chris Hansen with the Broncos, Michael Drath with the Dolphins, Jim Morin with the Rams, Ryan Owens with the Buccaneers, Chris Masters with the Eagles, Chris Hansen with the Redskins. Jim Morn with the Colts, Chris H. with the Jaguars, Aaron with the Raiders, Rory with the Chiefs, Jeremy with the Ravens, Colton with the Jets, Chris H. with the Texans, Ryan O. with the Steelers, and Matt, you have the Bengals. All right, so let's alphabetize by column B. Now, feel free to trade if you'd like, but keep an eye on the, on the boxes in this break. Right there. Before you trade. All 
And at the very end of this break, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to randomize all of your names again and give away that Nick Chubb autographed mini helmet in the, in the very back right there. Everyone has a shot at it. So we'll just re-randomize your names at the very end. And we'll go from there. I don't think there's any trades, Peter. I think it's, I think it's just time to go, maybe. Peter's wondering if anybody wants the Bill. Bill's Chiefs trade, maybe. Otherwise, we'll close it and we'll go. All right, trade window going once, trade window going twice, trade window closed. Let's get a move on. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the 12 box primetime football mixer on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And good luck. Let's just start with this box right in front of me, right here. Let's start with 2019 Legacy. I like the old Topps boxes there, the old 2019 Triple Threads. Could be interesting. Could be some interesting things in there. What the hell is this? Mirror? Are we seeing this right now, folks? It's a commercial on MLB Network. May, may or may not be in your region right now, but you post a mirror on your wall and you work out in front of it. Hmm. What will you think of next? I like that how I like how it's a big like selfie mirror too. They're like, "Hey, work out and share your workout with your friends." And then you just take a selfie of yourself. Yeah, whatever it takes to get healthy, I suppose. All right. Good luck. I'm gonna lead off with these. What's Melvin Gordon doing? Let's talk about Melvin Gordon really quick. What's he doing? Where is he going to go? Who's going to take him? Where is he going to play? Is he going to play? Who is he going to play for? I'm so confused. Melvin Gordon, if you're, if you're listening, what you doing? There's David Johnson. He's playing, David Johnson's playing football. You know, Hakeem Butler for the Arizona Football Cardinals. He's playing football. Aaron Pettit with the Redbirds. 20 out of 50. Alex says he's just not going to play, ever? Doesn't he have to play? That's out of 100. Doesn't he have to play at some point to try to get to accrue the proper year and not go through this all over again next year? There's Miles Gaskin to 100. Because just sitting out doesn't mean that he can just just be free of his contract after that. Take 
away second in the league in scoring. They are the main reason that the Pats are three and zero. The offense. Ooh, Don Rab thinking New York Giants need a running back. But they're, I mean, there's Jamal Williams for the Packers. That'll be for Rick Kay. Melvin Gordon's looking for, like, Zeke money almost. I don't think the Giants want to give him Zeke money. Or, or like, give up draft picks for a rental when they need those draft picks too. They got to eventually pay Saquon as well, right? Carson Wentz, 299. He's going to AB's consultant group, says Obi Wan. Well, Melvin Gordon has been pretty, comparatively, has been pretty low key about this whole thing. I'm just curious, what's, just, what's Melvin Gordon doing? What you doing, Melvin Gordon? Play the game. All right, let's uh, let's let's go back in time to 2011. No, I agree, Thomas. Melvin Gore is not that good to hold out. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Eckler is bad. I'm not disputing that. No, I'm not disputing. I'm, I'm with you guys. I, I think... I don't know. Melvin Gordon got some bad information from, from his agent. <laughs> the agent's like, he should hold out. Trust me, we'll get the money. <laughs> and Melvin Gordon's like, okay. Yeah, we will get that money. And he's sitting there going, hey, where, where's that money? Where, where, where are those trade offers and that money that's going to be that's supposed to be flying in here? It's kind of a lost season. I know, just, thought, just thought it was an interesting move for Melvin Gordon. Austin says he could help Miami's rebuild. I don't know if the, I, see, I don't know if the Dolphins don't want. I don't know if the Dolphins. I don't know if the Dolphins want Melvin Gordon. I think they're content. I mean, they're Dolphins are tearing everything down. I think they're content to just go fresh start with every, you know, with 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 every draft pick and just rebuild from scratch. Right, isn't that, yeah, it's kind of ironic, Austin, yeah. You get to the NFL, you love the game, and then just money kind of screws everything up. And I don't mind the pursuit of of money. You know, I think NFL, I think the NFL PA really need to figure out a way to get guaranteed money into the game. But I think uh, Melvin Gordon definitely overestimated his his stock in the NFL. All right, so a blast from the past, 2011 contenders. What are we looking for? Look at this. Rookie class, including Cam Newton and A.J. Green. That'd be cool. Four autos a box. So that's what we're looking for. First autograph is an eagle. Rookie auto. Rookie ticket autograph. That is Alex Henry. Remember Alex Henry? Christopher Masters with the Eagles. And there is Michael Ashore. I vaguely remember him. On card autograph for the Lions. Chris Hansen, last bot mojo. And we've got Shane Vereen. I remember Shane Vereen. That's for the Patriots. That'll be for Chris Hansen as well.
Right, Andy. Too too young, uneducated on finances, and it's all overwhelming. The ironic thing is that football players generally spend the most time in college, too. <laughs> like, I don't know why there isn't like a like a sports business, like a battery of sports business classes all football players have to take, or all athletes have to take in college. It's like if you're in a, if you're a, I don't know, I feel like they should just make you do it. The college should just be like, hey, just take these round of classes. Your minor is now in sports business or something like that. Learn how to read a basic contract, you know, learn how to, I don't know. You would think. There's Richard Gordon. Don't remember him. Alex, you think Cam Noon's a clown? Why? What has he done? Did he kick your dog? Greg Salas, rookie ticket autograph. Oh, you just don't like the way he dresses. Oh. You can say Cam Noon dresses like a clown. I don't think he is a clown, though. And there's TJ Yates autograph. Yeah, the NBA is some sort of program too, right? I feel like the NFL does as well. They have like all these rookie like I just don't think it's doesn't seem like enough. <laughs> Alright, that was two thousand love, and let's just get this one going too. Do we get six autos? Nice. Bonus auto. Bonus autos. Uh Yates goes to Chris Hansen, the Texans, by the way. Oh, this is 2018, by the way. Speaking of education, the group of athletes, pro athletes, least educated? Baseball players. So many of them get drafted out of high school. They're not going to college. There's Durham Smythe, rookie autograph, Dolphins. Right, Andy, it's all about keeping up with the Joneses. Suits, jewelries, car, cash. Uh, I mean, man, I remember, I remember back in the 60s when I was in my 20s, when I had a little bit of money in my pocket, how many of us would act the fool? Imagine if we had like Sam Darnold money then you're out smooching a bunch of girls and you get mono. Jair Alexander. Cool, what a game for Cleo Mack the other night. Last night. And Josh Allen. Rookie threat. Is Josh Allen going to beat the Patriots? This weekend? Yeah, Fred says, I, I manage NFL players' money. They spend like crazy. I mean, I think pro athletes just spend like crazy. All right. Um, I guess let's do this. I did say 1960s Ricardo. I remember watching... Uh, I remember watching Gilligan's Island in black and white. I remember when that first came out. I remember when our. Remember when uh. One of my next door neighbors got their first color TV. It was huge, ten inches. 
I remember when Gilligan's Island went from black and white to color. That was wild. Alex says no. I don't know. Bill's defense is good too. Pat's defense is definitely good. There's Jerry Rice to a 225. There's Jameis Winston, Relic, Massive Materials to 49, Buccaneers. That'll be for Ryan Owens. Warren Moon Autograph. Wow. Three out of 99, Jersey and Gold Ink Auto. That's for the Titans' Trey Bush. There you go, Trey. Nice old school Warren Moon. We got the bus, Jerome Bettis, 12 out of 50. Hall of Fame seal right there. Steelers, Ryan Owens. And then right here is Kurt Warner to 100. We got Mariota also for the Titans out of 225. The Thursday night game is actually a decent one, I think. I think, isn't it Eagles at... Green Bay for Thursday night. There's Paxson Lynch. 90 out of 99, quad relic for the Broncos. Little Oppo Joe Mojo, Chris Hansen. Cody Core, Bengals, Matt McRae. Rookie autograph to 225. On the board, Matt. It is Packers Eagles, right, says Don? Yeah. Packers, or Eagles at Packers, I want to say. I don't know. I think Eagles are a little banged up, right? Packers playing some pretty good football. They play, especially at home, they play pretty well. Kenyon Drake, Dolphins. That'll be for Michael Drath. And back here is TD Terrell Davis, 225. Yeah, Black Gold is pretty cool. I wish they would... Uh, that they haven't had that in a while, right? I wish they'd bring that back. If they cleaned up the design a little bit, maybe lowered the numbers a little here and there. I feel like I, I feel like that would make a good comeback. Um, well, we've got Drew Brees staring at us in the face. 2009, this is what triple threads look like. Isn't that It looks like a wedge of cheese right here. 2009 Tops Triple Threads Football. Austin says Packers by 17. Marcus is saying Packers defense solid this year. It is. It is solid this year. Kind of a cool box right here. How do you open? Oh, that. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Ah. And short week for the Eagles. Their Eagles are still a little banged up. I think. I think. I think the Packers probably win that relatively comfortably. Chad Ocho Cinco, Michael Turner, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, man. Those were the days to Marcus Russell. And we've got 5 out of 15, Josh Freeman for the Buccaneers. Nice, that's for Ryan Owens and the Tampa Bay Bucks. 
push. If they could upset the, the Dodgers, for example, it would be, I think, on Marcus the Russell. of Scherzer forward to Strasburg. So it would put position this way. What team has the fourth best chance to win the World Series? I think it would be the Nationals. They better have a lead, man. It gets pretty spooky there. This is Matt Schaub, Jerry Rice, Brady Quinn, Mark Bulger. Tom Brady, 7.99, and we've got 14 out of 15. Got prime relic, Matt Forte. And Matt Forte in his prime. I mean, like you had to have him on your fantasy team, all that. There you go, game worn jersey to Chris DeHart with the Bears. Let's do these guys here. What, Jamarcus Russell rated worst draft pick of all time on time list? Yeah, it was pretty bad. I think that was the year where they still did not have, like, scaling rookie contracts, right? So, like, top picks could just, especially quarterbacks, top picks could just hold out for a gazillion dollars. And... And I think the, a year or two after that, they changed the rules to have it to have it scale. All right, so this is 2019. We're back in the current draft class. Alex, you think the Skins might do something this weekend against the Giants? I don't know. Are the are the Giants, are the Redskins defense any better? Nice Riley Ridley contenders optic. On card autograph. That is for the Bears. That's for Chris DeHart. That's four out of fifteen. Yeah, Ryan Leaf was pretty bad too, and that's especially relative to who went after Ryan Leaf. Or before and after. Kenner, you're welcome. Congrats. We got old John Hanna. Old, uh, the old school Patriot. That goes to Chris Hansen. We got Zach Gentry. I don't know where Zach Gentry goes. Zach Gentry is a stealer. This will go to Pittsburgh. Ryan Owens. There's Miles Boykin for the Ravens. That'll be for Jeremy S. I'm not Chris Long. Shout out to Chris Long. He's terrifying with the robots taking over. Here's my point. All right, I'll give you this. But that right there, yeah, I'll give you a thumbs up for that. But like, here's what I need the robot to do. What? Vacuum or put shingles on the roof. Do something I can't do. And there's David Long. I don't know. College ticket autograph. Six out of 23. Yeah. See that cracked ice pattern in the background always looks cool. David Long is a corner for the Rams. And that'll go to Jim Morin. We go through these already? I think so. There's Easton Stick for the Chargers. Nice. People are high on the Easton Stick. They think he has got a pretty big ceiling. Chris Alquist with the Chargers. And back-to-back, -back, Damian Harris. 
Cracked Ice on Card Auto Patriots. Chris Hansen. So Chris Alquist, Chris Hansen back to back. Alex F. saying, would rather have Jacoby Brissett over Josh Allen. Everyone's just going crazy over one game. No, Josh Allen's 3-0. and Wait till they beat the Patriots. Who have the Patriots played? A cream puff schedule, but for the Patriots, they were just—they've just been cruising. You know, they get—they—they they get a Patriots team where Big Ben, his arm was about to fall off, fell off two weeks later. Right? Then they play the Dolphins and they play the Jets. Patriots scare you? Putting up big numbers against not so good teams. Oh, you meant Daniel Jones. Yeah, I mean, Daniel Jones playing well week his first game obviously is hashtag good for the hobby. I I think I think that's great. Now, now the next step is can he can he kind of keep it up? I don't expect the same kind of performance every week, but you know, a few more like that would be nice in the next next handful of weeks. Yeah, Minshew autos are hot too. I think the Jaguars, pretty sure their pick your team prizes aren't aren't too crazy as of yet. But they might be by the end of the season if Minshew keeps this up. Although I don't think Nick Foles is on season ending IR if I'm not can someone confirm is he on season ending IR? I don't think he is. I think Nick Foles might be might be angling to come back. Josh Allen, Alex is saying, needs to be careful of getting hit hard. Runs around a lot. Yeah, he's a big dude. He's Big Ben size. It's like a young Big Ben. Folds can return. Awesome thing. Yeah. So that'll be interesting. If Gardner Minshew keeps it going. Would, will that be the taming of the Minshew? Next box. We got green to 149. Daisy Ridley will be randomized to one person in the break. And a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? Joe Hayden to 149 for the Browns. Tyreek Hill to 199. Legends of the Fall, Marcus Allen for the Raiders to 149. Ezekiel Elliott. Wow. That's a rookie, Ezekiel. This is 2016, right? 
I know it's expired, but Panini's usually pretty good about honoring those expired redemptions, especially for Zeke. They got to be able to take care of you there, Kenny. Kenny got randomized the Dallas Cowboys. That is strong. All right, let's see. Now we're into now we're into the good stuff here. The real, the, the even better stuff. We got good stuff already. Even 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 nicer stuff. See Volson. Um, they ship every day. You should get a tracking number specific to each break. Do you want to check your email for that? And if you want more details, just uh, shoot us an email, jazbeescasebreak.gmail.com, and our team will take a look into when you can expect your stuff. There's Derek Brooks, Team Trademarks. That is for Ryan Owens and the Buccaneers. We got Muhammad Wilkerson, Elusive Inc. For the New York Jets, that's for Colton Carver. Another redemption. And Brett Keisel, Elusive Inc. for the Steelers. Ryan Owens with Pittsburgh. All right. Carl Joseph from our Raiders. Rookie Signature Series, Hollow Silver. Hollow Silver! Away! Who's got Oakland? Aaron Pettit. With my Raiders. All right. Well, so, yeah, let's do to infinity and beyond. Xavier Howard, Doug Baldwin, there's Big Ben, that's to 188. Corey Coleman, Cody Kessler, 14 out of 88. And Ricardo Lewis, I don't think any of these guys are still on the team, right? Coleman, maybe? Triple Relic for the Browns, that goes to Chris Berry, 14 out of 88. Kenny Clark, to 388. Green Bay Packers with that one, Rick K. And out of 199, 48 out of 199, old Drew Pearson. It's pretty cool, an old school cowboy popping out for Kenny. Nice. All right, let's go. So it's some old uh, heritage football right here. A little blast from another blast from the past. It's pretty crazy from 2015. Eric Diggers, he does local radio here in LA. Tony Lippett. And the autograph is Dries Anderson. Rookie auto for the Niners, Travis Melberg. All right, now let's get into some gala. Man, that's... that's that's still surprising. That retirement still surprises me. I think that's definitely one of the most unexpected. I think will still be one of the most unexpected stories of of the NFL. I kind of, I kind of don't believe. I think he's going to come back, and Andrew Luck's going to come back in a couple years. But I just, it's just unexpected. I don't think he's actually retired. I feel like he's just on the injured list somewhere. There's 40 out of 49. Kaepernick for the Niners. Travis Melberg. And we've got 
AJ Green, what are you doing? AJ. Look at that. AJ Green signed them all on the back. And then someone was like, AJ. Eleven out of twenty-five. AJ Green dual autograph for Matt McRae and the Bengals. AJ, AJ, bro, that's the back. That's the back, man. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. He's like, he's like watching TV or something like that. He's just like blowing through those autographs. We've got Ricardo Lewis, silver screen signatures to 99. That is for the Browns. That's for Chris Berry. We've got out of 25, that's Michael Thomas. Nice. Three out of 25 cinematic signatures. Rookie auto, Michael Thomas. And that'll be for Chris Hansen and the Saints. And the last one out of here is Derek Henry Relic. Coming attractions relic. 49. That'll be for the Titans. Trey Bush with the Titans. All right. Now, one more card to go. Good luck. The encased card, good luck everybody, is going to go to the Steelers. Two out of 49, two color patch, an autograph, Jalen Samuels. That's a nice one for Ryan Owens and the Steelers. And there you have it, boys and girls. A nice break in the books. Let's randomize everybody's name. Name on top gets the Nick Chubb autograph Georgia helmet. And the second name will get that Daisy Ridley Fans of the Game card. Star Wars stuff, so it always carries a little extra weight. All right, let's go back to the list here. The 12 box primetime football mixer. Thanks, everyone, for getting into it. Aaron down to Chris. I'll get a shot at it, and everyone in between. So, name on top, mini helmet, second name, Daisy Ridley. Let's roll it and randomize it. Snake Eyes, two times. That's easy. One and two. Boom. After two, boom. Kenny with the Daisy Ridley. Ryan Owens with the Nick Chubb autographed mini helmet. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, everybody. There'll be more football in the store. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.